check the mic and make sure it sound right. Hi, I'm DK Will, and this uh, video is here to uh, introduce me and to hopefully also introduce the channel and what I hope occurs. I'm just getting started, as you know, but I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you come back to see me again. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. A little bit about me. There wasn't a whole lot of fanfare when I was born. My dad was in Vietnam. And my mother was undergoing a nervous breakdown, handling her other two sons and living with my dad's parents. And so I don't think she even realized that uh, I had been born. It was that bad. And so as a baby, as an infant, I lay at the foot of the bed for a while before anyone picked me up. I think that had some impact on who I became. And I'll explain about that a little bit here. And laying there at the foot of the bed, the only thing I could do was look up at the ceiling lights. Well, I've been looking at the lights ever since, looking for the light ever since, looking for the truth ever since. My mother likes to say I have the honest, and she's right, I do. I don't really waste a whole lot of time in my life telling people lies, but I really don't want to be lied to either. And so while gazing up at the lights, so to speak, and gazing around the universe and watching people come and go, much like man scanning the universe with radar trying to find other signs of life, I found another sign of life. And that sign of life is the fact that we have a creator. Uh, we were not accidentally evolved here. We were created. Knowing that we have a creator has given me a heart of worship, a flaming, burning heart of worship. And it's done something else too. It's humble. I hope it humbles us all when we realize just how small we are in comparison to that universe out there, in comparison to our creator, in comparison really to one another. But who we are is very much determined by who was our family and who is our family. And so I'm going to tell a little bit about my family and I hope as this channel grows that uh, we develop a family. And as our family grows, we develop. We develop into better human beings in honor of our I grew up in a traditional family military father, stay-at-home mom, most of the time, three brothers for a total of six, and me, I was mom's little helper, always there, listening and learning. My brothers and I, well, we formed a very strong bond, and to this day we're all still alive, alive and loving one another, but we also formed brothers from other mothers along the way. Hopefully as this channel moves on, we'll learn to be forming bonds of brotherhood, become brothers and sisters, because we all share the same earth. And DK is going to talk about it in many different other topics. I had children of my own, three sons. I love them dearly, but now they're men. And as men, they too can become like brothers. Raising a family was one of my greatest joys, as were our trips to the beach. I raised a family of four, but unfortunately, that family was shattered by the pain and sorrow that comes with divorce. And then that divorce, I ended up being a single father, raising my two sons, from uh, the youngest being about 10 years old. But those sons eventually grow up get ready to fly the coop, really chase their dreams, and that's what happened to me. I suffered the empty nest syndrome. 
Life threw me a lot of curves around that period of life. The divorce occurred. I single parented and uh, then I lost my job. I lost my job making pretty good money for a utility company. And then my kids grew up and left home, so I reinvented myself. I went to college. I went to a prestigious college in the end, Johns Hopkins. I graduated summa cum laude. I'm not bragging. But it exposed me to other ways of thinking, other people, other goals, other humans. As did the work I did subsequent to that, I entered the corporate world. I got to see how those people think and live and act and behave and aspire. I also remarried. I married a beautiful young woman. Maybe too young for me, but we're married anyway. We don't have any children, but we do have several pets. We have two dogs, a cat, we have a parrot, and a rat. That didn't rhyme on purpose. So what I've learned through all the books and all the heartache and all the pain and all the joy is that some things you can't learn from a book, except for the book. But what I've learned about people is that we're like our own bubble, our own little bubbles working for the light, working for the air. And like bubbles, we're always heading up, or at least trying to. And even when we're not, if we're around other bubbles and we collect in air pockets, it pulls us up pulls other bubbles up. The bigger bubbles that have collected have a force on the smaller bubbles, all being pulled up. But even when we get pulled up, like those bubbles, and we burst them to the surface, and now we're free, we're not bubbles anymore. The waves still keep crashing in, trying to make us bubbles again. But I found that the one good way to fight becoming a bubble is to just help each other out. Just reach out your hand and help each other out. The waters seem to calm down when we help each other out. And so, DK will talk about it. We're going to talk about a lot of subjects. But we're going to look for the light, the light of truth. And hopefully when we find that light of truth along the way, it makes navigating the waters so much easier, so much more peaceful, where you can actually take in the beauty as you travel the waters. It'll be like relaxing on a beach, one of my favorite places, if you haven't been able to determine that. The beach has a certain tranquility to it. And that's hopefully where we'll end up. What DK will talk about. You see, because I'm in the autumn of my life. And here in the autumn of my life, I want to make sure I leave something behind that helps others out. Jesus made this statement that the fields are ripe for harvesting. That the wheat is out there, folks. I think that my seeking the truth has helped me to be able to see who is the wheat and who is the chaff. And if you're not the wheat, you're not gonna want to take this journey with me. You're not gonna come back to this channel, but that's okay because the people who this gets past their head into their heart and want to come and talk about it. talk about the truth so on this journey as I try to touch as much weed as I can I'm ready to toe the line but I'm going to need some help and even though we'll be in here with each other and we never meet face to face many if not most of us we can still have an impact we can still join hands and work together and it's going to be necessary on DK we'll talk about it because I want you to bring your ideas I want you to bring your creativity I want you to bring your thoughts on the matter 
And of course I'll do the research and I'll put it all together. But we're going to seek the truth. And we will talk about it. I'll act like a facilitator, a mediator, to bring those thoughts together. Some of your thoughts I may agree with and put them out there. Some of them I may discuss to the contrary. Because the goal is not to win our point of view. The goal is to see the truth. And that should help us all celebrate when we're able to seek and find the truth. But we have to have a heart for it. And that's going to take opening your mind. And then maybe once we get that far, the journey becomes so much more brighter as we walk our ways. So much more peaceful. So much more awe-inspiring as we continue on this journey. So I thank you. I'm glad to meet you. I'm DK Will. Please come back. Where DK Will talk about it. Check the mic and make sure it sound right.